Hey guys, welcome back. So I am going to start out with my eyes. So I'm priming using this Tarte Clean Slate 360 Degree Creaseless Primer. I actually really like this primer. It makes my like eyeshadows last a really long time, so I'm really liking it. Then I'm applying some tape to the corners of my eyes to create that really nice sharp line. I feel like this is almost essential for a cut crease because it just makes life so much easier. And then I'm going in with Mirage from Makeup Geek to set all of my eyelids in place and sort of get rid of any veins you can see. Then I'm going in with Peach Smoothie which is a really good transition shade for my skin tone and I'm just using my tried and true Sigma E40 brush to buff this all in all over the crease and I'm taking it quite high because I have hooded eyes so I need to for a cut crease look. Then I'm taking the shade Frappe and just using this right into the crease and we're not worrying too much if it gets onto the lid because we're gonna clean that up later anyway so don't be too concerned. Then I'm taking the shade Americano on my Sigma E25 brush. This is literally my favorite brush. It is synthetic, so it's no animal hair, but it's like the exact same thing as the MAC 217. So I love this brush. You guys need this brush. But I'm just applying this right into that crease and then winging it out a tiny bit on the outer corner. And then going back in with the E40 brush just to blend out those edges. Then I'm taking the shade Corrupt on this tiny, tiny little Sigma blender brush. I will have the name of it listed down below, but I'm just doing the same thing and really carving out the crease. This is the best brush for a cut crease, honestly. I couldn't do it without it. And then just going back in with the E25 and blending. And then I'm just adding a little bit more product. So building up the color and then blending and then building up the color and then blending. It is very repetitive but very necessary. Then I'm taking this shade, I believe it's called Desert Sands, and I am just buffing this right above all the other colors basically just to add a little bit of warmth. And then back in with Mirage, I just took this on my brow bone just to make sure it wasn't going too far up towards the brow. I wanted it to be nice and light. Then to carve out the cut crease, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. So I'm just using a tiny little Sigma inner corner brush and I'm just carving out where I want my crease to sort of be and blending it out with my finger. And then here I'm just going back in with my tiny little brush and no extra product and just making sure that the ed edges are soft. Then I'm going in with the beautiful Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadow. This is in the shade Gold Goddess, I believe, and I'm applying it to all of that area where we concealed. So I was basically mapping it out with the concealer and then going in with this just to add the glam. Then I'm taking more Americano and more Corrupt on the same little blender brush and just adding that in the outer corner and then through the crease again just to make sure that the color and the pigmentation is still all there. Then I'm going in with my new favorite coal liner. I think it's a coal liner. It's the Tarte Man Eater Black Liner and I'm just tight lining with that and then for my winged eyeliner I'm using the Sigma Wicked Gel Liner in black and the Sigma Eyeliner Brush. This brush is an angled so it's a little bit harder to use but I still really like it. Um, I think it just takes a little bit of getting used to but yeah I'm just creating a nice wing along my eyes. Then when you remove the tape you can see we've got a nice crisp edge and I'm just using some of the Tarte wipes to clean up any glitter fallout. Then just curling my lashes and applying a coat of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara which is one of my new favorites. The falsies I used are the Glamour Wispies from Ardell. I love these because they didn't cover up too much of the eye look, which is what I wanted, but they still gave me a bit of length and volume. Moving on to the face, I'm priming using the Tarte Clean Slate Primer. I'm using a lot of Tarte in this because I was trying a lot of things out that I was sent but it's not sponsored. And then for foundation, I've got the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I'm in the shade 02 Natural. 
and I'm just using a Sigma Angled Kabuki to buff this all over my skin. I love this foundation guys, it's one of my all time favourites. To conceal my under eyes and highlight the centre of my face, I'm using the same Pro Longwear concealer I used on my eyes. So the Pro Longwear in NW20 from MAC and I haven't used this in quite a while and I do really love the coverage it gives. I just used the same foundation brush as well to blend that out. And then using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder to set my under eyes and basically my whole face. I don't really know what happened underneath my right eye, but for some reason the powder stuck to a certain spot. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really white under there, so please try to ignore that. Um, but then I took the contour shade from the Tarteus Pro Glow To Go palette and used my Sigma small contour brush just to carve out my cheekbones and around my hairline, underneath my jaw and around my nose and all of that kind of thing. Then for blush, I took my Inglot palette and used the number 21 blush from it. And then for highlight, I'm using the new Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. And I am so impressed with this product. I cannot rave about it enough. I am absolutely in love, 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 love. I'm going to get the other shade that is for light skins as well. Then back onto the eyes, I'm taking Frappe once again and buffing this underneath the lower lash line. And then back in with Americano, just on a little pencil brush from Sigma. I'm really buffing this close to the lash line, but sort of smoking it out at the same time. And then taking Corrupt to add the final touches. I'm just joining up the liner and the lower lash line so that there's no gaps. And then I went back in with the Stila Glitter and just applied that to my lower lash line just to give it a pop of sparkle. And then to highlight my inner corners, I used the same highlight I used on my face and just the Sigma inner corner highlight brush. And then I went back in with the Tarte Man Eater eyeliner and just lined my waterline and finished off with a coat of the mascara on my lower lashes, which this is a really good lower lash mascara I've realized too. Then finally for lips, I lined my lips using the Makeup Store Nude Beauty Lip Liner, which is probably my favorite nude lip liner of all time. And then my new favorite lipstick, I love, love, love this color so much. It's the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Sunkissed. And that completed the look. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.